Hello food fans, going to have a feast today, if not a feast, a banquet, and this is another banquet meal. This is a mega bowl, mega bowl with chicken fajita uh, flavoring, whatever uh, they do to it. It tastes very, very good. I've had this before. And this is a 14 ounce package, 14 ounces for uh, slightly under $3. And if we're um, light on the dessert, it's a secret dessert. We don't need a whole bunch of it, and if we have just a little bit of the coleslaw that I enjoy so much, then we'll uh, get by for right around somewhere between $5 and $6 for a really good meal. So, let's get started! And the uh, recipe is quite good. I've had this before. It's very hot when it comes out of the microwave oven. And this is uh, the banquet mega bowl. And it is uh, chicken fajita. The ingredients, looks like they've got about 50 ingredients here, but some of them obviously add some flavor to the food. You're getting 21 grams of protein. So it's a good protein source and definitely a good uh, tasting microwave fast meal. How did we get along without microwaves before they were invented? Very hot, uh, being hot like temperature from being in the microwave oven. It does have good chunk size pieces of chicken in there. They've also got rice and uh, a lot of unidentified items, but they do have a very, very good taste. I've had food that was cooked on a coal stove, C-O-A-L, coal stove. I've had food of it, and sometimes with wood burning in the stove. And I've had food cooked on a kerosene, kerosene stove <coughs> and cooked on gas stoves and uh, electric stoves. Here's something that was not cooked at all, it's the coleslaw. The coleslaw is a very good uh, salad, at least uh, my taste buds think so. Do taste buds think? Some coleslaw. Depending on how much coleslaw you eat, or salad that you eat, it's probably about a 50 cent item when you try to figure the cost of a meal. And the banquet mega bowl is about three dollars. So there's room enough for a 50 cent to one dollar dessert item, but then of course there's the beverage also. This will probably end up costing right around five and a half dollars total.
the rice <coughs> the rice is cooked up to where it's tender. Try some more of this. I've been watching some uh, YouTube videos. One of the videos I like that's a musical number is uh, Bobby Rydell and Ann Margaret dancing to a song called Got a Lot of Living to Do. Elvis also had a song called Got a Lot of Living to Do, but they're two separate songs. And you can use a title of a song without getting a copyright strike. There's some songs that have uh, the same title for many different songs, like Tell Me Why. There's a song called Tell Me Why by the Ames Brothers. There's a song called Tell Me Why by Elvis Presley. There are other Tell Me Why titled songs. But that being said, there are exceptions to a copyright protection. title. For example, if you wrote a song, an instrumental song, and you called it the theme from Star Wars, you would be in copyright prison for a long time. You can't mislead people with your song title. I think you like got a lot of living to do the dance number. And keep in mind that Bobby Rydell was known for his singing, not his dancing, but he did do a very good job dancing to a probably three or four minute song. And Ann Margaret was known for her great dancing abilities. Another song I'd recommend if you have not heard it or watched, seen the video, watch the video for the 1988 version of the Madison, M-A-D-I-S-O-N, and that's a song from um, Hairspray. And it might be listed under It's Madison Time. This is uh, the great value is the label of Maine root beer. And when I'm shopping at Kmart, I buy that. The two liter bottle is only one dollar. The banquet <clears throat> mega meal is 14 ounces, which is a pretty good size for a frozen meal. Not as big as the Hungry Man meals.
another good song and dance selection at YouTube. Watch You Got Trouble. Y A U means you, but Ya Got Trouble from the Music Man. And I would recommend using a high school version where they put the musical on in the gymnasium or whatever. It lends itself to being. Uh, seen as a song and dance number that is not a high priced spectacle of some sort. It's just a comfortable movie to watch um, and uh, that selection if you're interested in knowing about uh, The Music Man, the whole musical is good but if you're just going to watch one number I recommend You Got Trouble. They got some hot sauce, hot sauce on uh, this meal somewhere. Mm. I noticed they have a fast food place, Whataburger has uh, up here, I'll have to check that out sometime in the near future. This is good. Especially good for under six dollars. Of course it comes in a bowl, you don't need to wash any dishes if you're eating a banquet mega bowl and you're getting 21 grams of protein. Some of the cars that uh, used to be around that are not around anymore. When I was a kid, I would see Pontiacs, Mercury's, Willys, W-I-L-L-Y-S, Studebakers, Packards, Nashes, Hudson. 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 The Hudson had a step-down design, which meant it was lower, closer to the street than other cars. Pretty easy to get into. Had a beautiful interior. The Nash, <clears throat> Nash 600, would go 600 miles between gasoline fill-ups. Studebaker was built in South Bend, Indiana. And they had uh, lots of credibility as car makers. They had been in business 1952. They celebrated their 100th year in the business of making some sort of uh, either automobile or horse-drawn wagon. They also made and sold a small car called the Crosley, C-R-O-S-L-E-Y. You'll probably find some videos that show 
what the Crosley looked like. It was made by a refrigerator company. Kid, my favorite type of ice cream, favorite flavor was uh, raspberry ripple. Mmm. Chocolate is good. You got chocolate chips inside the chocolate ice cream. This is good. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening to my stories. Thank you for watching.